All right, well, we've told you before, but April is National Poetry Month, and Hope at Hand is hosting poetry events and workshops. Anaya Washington is here to show us how to write an acrostic poem. Yes. So welcome to the show. Thank you for nice having me. Nice to meet me. you, of course. So I've heard of, like, haikus and limericks. I don't think I've heard of an acrostic poem. So what exactly is that? Yeah, so acrostic poems are actually a very simple form of poetry. Um, I love to teach them with our students because um, it's a very accessible lesson. And they make great gifts for people oh, okay. um, if you want to craft them for other folks. Right. Um, it's a poem that essentially uh, the first line of each line of the poem spells out another word. Oh, so like an acronym. Yes. Acronic, yeah. acronym. Okay, Very that much. makes sense. Yeah. I got it now. Or acrostic. Yes. But I've never heard that word before. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, I think it's French. You okay. Know, um, well, there you go. All that fun stuff. So tell us a little bit more. So you pick, do you pick the word first or do you pick the words and then kind of create, like work backward? How do you do it? Yeah. So the way that I like to teach this lesson with my students, um, we will start out by um, choosing a topic. Okay. Um, and I think that my goal always when I'm teaching my poetry lessons with students in Jacksonville is to allow them to have some space to express themselves. Yeah. Um, so I will challenge students to make an acrostic poem using their own name. Okay. Um, so we'll start out by writing our name on the left side of the paper mm -hmm. vertically. Okay, right, so, so we have an example here with cats. So an example of with cats, um, we'd write cats down the left side of the page. Okay. Um, we'd start the first line of the poem with the letter C. Mm -hmm. um, so you can choose one word or you can make a whole line of poetry. Um, so if we were going to do one for your name, Jordan, we'd okay. start with uh, a J and we'd make a line of poetry about you. Okay. It starts with the letter J. So. Jovial. Yeah. Jovial. I don't know. <laughs> Do, right? I mean, is there like a specific like way we should pick the word? Nope. So the goal is just that the poem expresses the topic that's on okay, the side of the I paper. Okay, I see. Okay. Right, so well, jovial makes sense, right? Yeah, I guess. for sure. I feel jovial. Yes. I <laughs> um, for me, I'd, I'd go with A and I'd say, always, always wearing a bright smile. I love oh, smiling. you don't have to do just one word. It could be nope. a whole. It could be like yeah. its own little it could be sentence. A whole line. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and then let's talk about because you have students. So this is something that you teach a lot. Why would you say poetry is like an Im important way to express oneself? Yeah. So what we do at Hope at Hand is we teach um, not just with young people in the community, mm -hmm. um, but folks of all different ages who are in. Um, alternative educational institutions pretty okay. much. Um, so I will step into a room with students who are experiencing sometimes unthinkable experiences oh, at home, yeah. um, which is sometimes really unfortunate. Right. But as someone who's experienced things like that myself, I turn to poetry at a young age, mm -hmm. and um, I continue to turn to poetry now um, to continue expressing myself. So yeah. the goal of poetry is to put words to the things that we experience in life, mm -hmm. um, to allow us to express to people, hey, like this is what I'm feeling, this is right. what I'm going through. This is the support that I need, yeah. um, and it's a really, it's a re really rewarding, rewarding experience yeah. um, to be able to do with Hope at Hand throughout the community. And it might be an easier way to express versus it just is. totally, just blurting everything out. Yes, you know. Yeah, I think we we sometimes shy away from right. therapy and mm -hmm. the act of sharing our story because it's like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to talk about these things. Right. Um, but when you're doing art. It is a form of art. Yeah. yeah you're it's doing a little different. Pretty words. We often pair our lessons with an art activity. So we'll do some painting. Um, it ends up just being a lot of fun. And students yeah. don't even realize sometimes that what we're doing is healing them yes. um, at the same time as it is just letting them just have a little fun and be a kid for a little bit. That's awesome. Well, yeah. there's their social media pages. Um, but if they want to sign up for any of the workshops or the Jack's Poetry Fest, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, you can follow us on social media on all of the um, links on the page here. Um, you can check out um, all of our events throughout the, the month of April, which is National Poetry Month, um, by going to jackspoetryfest.org. Um, and I hope to see you guys at some events. We have virtual workshops and in-person opportunities to dabble in some poetry this year. Very cool. And what's really cool, too, is they're going to be coming every Friday this month. So a different person is going to be coming, a different teacher to show us different uh, a variety of poems. So thank yes. you so much for teaching us about acrostic poems. Of course. And